Hello and welcome to Springboard Media's Active Tips. Today we're going to look at all the different browsers. Let me go over here and pin the browsers. There we go. So here's all the different things that you can find in this browser section over on the left side of your screen. The first one is your page browser and it shows you all the pages you've made. This little dot down here will allow you to shrink the size of your pages or expand them. The second icon, which looks like music notes and a video clicker, is your resource library. This shows you all the images and backgrounds and templates and activities. You can also search right here in this box. This is your resources, this is your shared resources, and this is another way to find the Finder or um, My Computer. The next image up here is the Object Browser. The Object Browser shows you all the different text, images, and objects you've added to the page. It also shows you your top layer, middle layer, bottom layer, and background. On this page, you can see that the top and the bottom are parts of the background. Everything in the background is automatically locked, so I can't click on it to move it. There's nothing in the bottom layer, and there's a bunch of stuff in the middle layer. The shape is behind the image of the teacher. If I wanted the shape to be above the image of the teacher, I could select and move it up. If you're adding things and they're going on top of each other and you want to move them forward or back, you're going to use the object browser. When you click on something in the object browser, the marquee handles will pop up around it to show you which one it is. So this one is text 7. I'm going to move the teacher back up in front of the shape. The next icon over here is the notes browser. And the Notes browser is great if you're going to download Promethean Planet flip charts or upload your flip charts to Promethean Planet. It's where you can add notes that explain what's going to happen on the page. The next icon is the Properties browser. And the Properties browser does a lot of different things. It's where you can find containers, restrictors, it's where you can add labels for tooltips, and it's also where you can create gradients. So if we click on the square, we can see that it already checked its fill and outline. If we click on one of the text boxes, we can see the outline, the fill to this box is none, there's no label. We can see if we want a background color in this text box, how translucent it is, if it's visible, any keywords it might have, if it's a container, or if it has any restrictions on it. You can restrict things so that they can't move or so that they can't rotate or so that they can move only vertically, horizontally, or along a specific path. The next icon is the Actions Browser. And you'll see if we click on the teacher that the notebook over here disappears. And that's set up in the Actions Browser. So it's selected hidden, which image is going to be. If you wanted to get rid of this action, you push remove existing. Actions also has drag and drop actions, which you can add to your page. The last browser you'll see is your voting browser. And this gives you the opportunities to register your devices, to switch between active expressions and active votes, to toggle into anonymous voting mode, and to assign students to devices. This is also where you'll see your results. Once you give a learner response quiz, the results will be right here in the results browser. I hope you've enjoyed today's active tip. Check out our website for more information.